Is more money always better? I don't know. Let's talk about it. <laughs> hey, hey, YouTube, what's up? TR Puffin stuff here, but you knew that, didn't you? Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to talk about a knife brand that I discovered quite a few years ago at a gun show. This was a local gun and knife show that comes through town maybe four times a year. And I always enjoy going and looking. And I always say to myself, I'm not going to buy another knife because I don't need another knife. But I always do. Now, as you know, if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, I'm not big into brand names and I don't believe in spending a lot of money more than you probably should just because of a brand name. So that's what I want to talk to you today about. I want to talk to you about this brand of knife that I encountered and it is called Elk Ridge. I don't know if any of you have had experience with these knives or not, or if you've ever purchased one or seen them even, but I have to say, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed with the price point to begin with. But, on top of that, I'm just also impressed with the quality. I've got three that I've purchased over the past couple of years here that I'm just going to show, show you. And we'll do a little bit with them, see what we can scrounge up. So, let's take a look. This is the first one. Now, one thing about a lot of the uh, Elk Ridge knives is they do come with nice leather sheaths. This was the first Elk Ridge knife that I purchased. And I tell you, I just, I, it's a, a full tang. You can see how thick that is. I don't have all of the dimensions and everything, guys. I'm sorry. It's kind of an impromptu video, but it fits very comfortably. And the good thing about every Elk Ridge knife that I have ever bought comes very sharp right out of the box. Again, full tang, 440 stainless steel, comfortable, very sharp, has always done what I needed to do, no problems, at a price point below $20. And that includes a nice sheath. The second Elk Ridge knife that I purchased was this one here. Again, same nice sheath. This is... Again, full tang, nice, thick, 440 stainless steel. Got the Elk Ridge logo on there. So this is the Elk Ridge Bushcraft. I think it's ER551 is the model number. Again, very sharp out of the box. Nice wood handle, full tang, sharp looking design. Has always done what I need it to do. No problems at all. All right, and I was so impressed with that bushcraft knife. I wanted a bigger knife that I could carry. And for a long time, I carried it in my pack and I used it all the time. Then I decided it would go great on my battle belt. So if you want to see this again, you can look on my battle belt video. Battle belt setup. This is a knife that I keep on the back of that battle belt. And again, it's the Elk Ridge Bushcraft. But you can see this is the big boy version. Once again, full tang. Actually, it does have a hollowed out part in the middle of the tang here. If you take off the handle there's a little storage section in there and in that little storage section you get a little survival kit as a surprise bonus I kind of changed out some of the items of mine maybe one day I'll do a video on that but again look how thick that is full tang very sharp out of the box 440 stainless steel once again great knife for your heavier jobs, this will get it done. Let's put it to the test now. Now when I say put it to the test, I'm not going to do like a bunch of those idiots who get these free knives from these companies and they can tear them up and stuff like that. Where you stand on them and jump up and down on them and throw them up against concrete. Smash them with bricks. Because in reality, what idiot is going to do that kind of crap, okay? I take care of my stuff. I don't 
get things free from YouTube or from suppliers just to do stuff like that. When I get a piece of merchandise, when I buy a knife, I like to take care of it. Now, there are signs of wear and tear on my knives. They don't look brand new out of the box. That's because they're not. I've had them. I've used them. I've put them to the test. But I'm not going to smash this with a concrete block just to see if it'll curl. That's idiotic. Anyway, I am going to put it to the test and just do some things that you would normally do. Let's do some batoning, shall we? So there you go, that's about the roughest I'll ever be on these knives. Pounding them on the tip with a baton and having no issues at all with that tip, no curling or bending, still sharp. This is the Elk Ridge Bushcraft the smaller Elk Ridge Bushcraft also pounding this tip with a baton with this short blade no issues at all so I don't know if you guys have tried the Elk Ridge brand of knives before but a lot of people like more of because of the price point well Elk Ridge also is in about the same price range for a lot of their styles of knives we're talking twenty dollars and under so for me they get a thumbs up i don't know what you think leave comments below and let me know if you have experience with an elk ridge knife but i'm very happy with them and i'll probably buy more even though i don't need any Anyway, till next time, this is TR Puffin Stuff. Keep calm, carry on, keep puffin'.